welcome friends to my channel rex rahul so today i will show you how to execute a shell script for java in eclipse suppose you have a shell script test.sh then if you want to call it from the java program in some cases or any scenario you can call it using the process builder api so first of all let's get started so first of all we uh, we need a java project so i have created a java project for demonstration purpose there is a main method and a class so let's start create a simple shell script so we will create a simple shell script here <coughs> for demonstration purpose i will just show you a simple shell calling let's say test.sh will be our shell so in our shell we have to write some code script so echo let's say test dot sh has been executed by java okay so this is our shell so we will write our code here so i have already told you that we uh, we are going to use the process builder api of uh, uh, the java so here i'm going to uh, use it so process builder uh, first of all we will import all it process builder okay so this is the process builder and uh, you can see the package of the process builder so we have to pass our commands here so we will also write the commands we have to pass our uh, you can see here one constructor is for a string array you can uh, pass a string array of command and uh, one constructor is for list you can pass list in this constructor so i will use this uh, constructor for demonstration purpose and uh, let's uh, create a command command will be our shell dot sh okay so we will call we will have to call pb dot start it will start the operating system process that will be our uh, calling of test dot sh and uh, also catch this this is start method uh, throws the exception i u exception suppose uh, any of the exception uh, in this uh, start method you get uh, maybe a uh, file not found uh, you uh, all the exceptions will be catched in this i u exception uh, is it returns the process instance process class instance for calling this is only needed pb dot start and we have to just pass it in yes so let's start this shell caller so here cannot run a program test dot sh no such file or directory okay then you can see test dot sh in uh, is in resources folder so we will just use the resources here and now you are getting the permission denied so every shell you want to execute uh, that shell needs to be uh, uh, give a permission for execution so i will give the permission to the shell here we have shell dot sh here test dot sh we will change the permission for this so you can see the permission has been changed 
and now try to run this yes the process uh, the java program is terminated and uh, we did not get any error so uh, we cannot find out uh, here if our shell is executed or not so we will have to get this echo printed to our system.out.println command in java suppose we want to print this echo whatever is written in this uh, test.sh we want to just get that stream so we will do p dot there is a, a stream get input dot stream you can get from here and uh, you will just use uh, suppose buffered reader uh, buffered input stream new input stream reader buffered reader reader it has to be buffered reader yes so i will read uh, so i will read whatever is uh, in the shell script read dot read line we will read line by line and all the lines so here read line when it is not equal to when we do not get any line further so we will also have a string here and we will just assign whatever comes from the read line and if it is not null just print here so what i did here i will get whatever uh, i will get the input stream of the process uh, is been executed from the pb dot start and uh, get that stream and uh, i will read that stream and print on the console here so let's try this hmm. yes looks good yes you can see test.sh has been executed by java that is this echo test data has been we have printed echo is for printed uh, just for print uh, whatever you want to print uh, suppose if you have i have uh, i have written here rex dot let's say so again if i call yes so you can see a uh, whole uh, test.sh has been called and uh, uh, we have captured the input stream to our console here uh, so what is the next step for us call shell script for java program we have done it so thank you guys i think we have completed yes so thank you guys again thanks